It's me. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then... gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach. Couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry. We didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there, too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well, it would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone, and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe, here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <sighs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Armelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama, no, no Lochner. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, 
There's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie, straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin, the price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east. Towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross. Sam, it's Hartman. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, 
Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative, whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand, supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just the cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation. But I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. 
in which case he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. moment, Sam. It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelie's? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelie's beach, to exploit its power over every other beach, and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed.
I couldn't just go off and get myself killed anymore. it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him! I gave you an order. Shoot him!
need you, baby. I was born to fight. Rally point. point. We need reinforcements. Oh my fault.
I need backup. Open, Open fire. fire. fire.
We need reinforcements! Move, 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 move! move. <laughs> I need you. I'm sorry. Baby, we're getting out of here. I promise. Give me back my baby. Are you clear, Dunger? Who are you? Are you the 
the father. They told me your name was Sam Porter. When you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. Come on, Sam. Stand up. and again when the brass sent us into the jaws of hell it was you that brought us home Okay. I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nord City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. 
Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes, Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you, I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Amelie was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started. 
by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Sam. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you. He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist voidouts, the whole extinction agenda. Amelie was behind it all. Like hell she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He's turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pot, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Rigid? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east.
Sam, the connection's unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port Nord City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam, this is critical. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. All weapons will be locked until departure. constant timefall in this region for a while now. As a result, everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital Not City Distro Center. As for the not-so-good news, chiral printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do.
eats at. Oh, I could kiss you, you sweet son of a bitch. I thought it was all over. been in a coma for a while now but with all these crypto bios you brought we should be able to bring her round and with any luck it'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet you did well Sam You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward, similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? <sighs> anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The Great Deliverer, the only one who can reach Amelie's Beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's Beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a 
higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armely's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole, a whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. <sighs> You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? This is only a theory, but she wants you, wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE, -E and this is her endgame. Just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding, and come back in one piece. I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her, You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. As well make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still, if it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? <laughs> Take
take care of Lou. I will. Couldn't find a working still mother east of Port Knot City. Kid's done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. Concentrate. Help me look for Amelie. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her! 